how does the buffed kingpin handle nodes like biohazard and freezer burn in act six how's it going everybody i'm rob von chu and that is what we're checking out here today in today's video now, i'm bringing my kingpin a six star rank one sig 20 up against everybody here now the the six star rank one is equivalent to a five star rank four so they're going to play about the same and all I'm doing here is that I'm bringing Kingpin along with two Synergy members, Hood and Mr. Sinister, leaving two spots open for whoever else you want to bring, just to see how he handles. I have no damage masteries active right now. I'm not running any boost. This is just a straight vanilla Kingpin fight at a, you know, just with a basic one-time awakening. Now for this test, I'm taking my Kingpin up against the Act 6.4, the Iceman chapter, where you have Biohazard in addition to Mixmaster. So Mixmaster long and the short, if you do the same action twice, you get a Falter, you miss, but Falter is also a debuff. And Kingpin here is just absolutely rinsing this first Thor fight here. I got him back in the corner, I got heavy chain and just maximize my damage there, build up my rage so I get even more attack. I want to shift between medium, light, medium to work around the Mixmaster node, but then also at the same time to not uh, wail into the opponent too. Kingpin is only able to shrug off one of each kind of debuff within a certain frame, and if I just go ham, then uh, he gets more debuffs than he can purify. That's where he starts taking damage. Second fight here is against uh, Stealth Spidey. Uh, he has the fun and interactive bit where he has Evade mixed in as well. Evade on one hand is beneficial to Kingpin because he gets rages faster that way, he gets the fury buffs up sooner, which means he can do more damage, but the downside to that is that it doesn't prevent evade. So I still got to play around uh, him throwing special one, him getting the evades left, right, and center, and then still trying to capitalize on not only Biohazard and Mixmaster, but then, you know, get some heavy chain in the corner going. So even at a, a six star rank one level, uh, Kingpin has been doing a, a significant chunk of damage here. I do need to be mindful again, just that uh, I'm not throwing a bunch of uh, attacks back to back to back faster than you can shrug them off. And then get him in the corner and just absolutely, you know, go ham. You can also approach this several different ways. You can just keep spamming special one. The special one inflicts the opponent with a degen for some added damage. Or you can, you know, try and build up Kingpin a little bit faster by throwing the special two, uh, going into the overpower modes, throwing special three for additional rages. All that winds up helping out uh, immensely here. The important thing, again, is that you want to just keep staggering your move set so as to not inflict more debuffs than Kingpin can shrug off in a given time. And just like that, Stealthy's down, moving on to the next fight here, which is Rocket. Rocket, of course, being a much simpler fight. Um, with much more predictable specials, no annoying nonsense tacked on. I, the approach is going to be the exact same, you know. Play around the, the mechanics of the uh, the path here with Falter, with Biohazard, keep shrugging stuff off, getting uh, Rage debuffs left, right, and center, getting Fury on top of that, throwing Special 1, throwing even more degen, and this Act 6 uh, path is just absolutely melting here. I can only imagine what Kingpin would do if he had a full synergy team around him or damage masteries or boosts because, again, this unboosted uh, rank 1 champ is, is just absolutely laying into this path here. Nice thing about this strat is that it also leaves two, two uh, openings on your roster as well if you want to bring somebody else for, say, the Iceman boss here in this path or you know more support champions a, a guardian perhaps a heimdall if, if you'd like uh captain marvel movie and nick fury if you want to uh, boost his fury i uh, there's there's a lot of options and and that's a really nice thing about the uh, the rework here now the last fight here on biohazard that i'm going to showcase is vulture as well the strategy is the exact same just to try and bait out the special the power lock because of the Mr. Sinister synergy goes into place with the power lock. He can back the opponent into the corner, chain anywhere between like three and five heavies. Uh, unanswerable at that. And just go ham, you know, heavy, heavy, heavy spam, spam, spam. Throw the special one. It, it's just absolutely nutty 
uh, how much fun you can have with with a kingpin here post buff. Thing with the vulture here to consider as well is that he does have a built-in miss mechanic to, to you know just keep in mind as well that winds up uh, of course building up kingpin with with a miss uh, as well as an incinerate that vulture can proc which again is no big deal because that's just something that that kingpin can shrug off Now, full disclosure, I did wind up throwing a couple of pots onto Kingpin after the stealth Spider-Man fight just to, you know, top him off a little bit. But uh, with uh, with safer playing, um, it is very plausible to get through this path or and at least these first few fights without needing to use any uh, pots whatsoever. Playing off of that, too, this is uh, pre-fix Kingpin. So he's buffed, but the willpower and the heals are still not quite where they're they said they were supposed to be so throw the damage masteries on top of this and fix uh willpower then uh kingpin here is going to be just healing up left right and center as well just with all those different rages on them now right as we're about to jump into the freezer burn section let me know down in the comment section where you think kingpin would be most useful if you are excited about the buff here and uh, kind of what you think just seeing what uh, a very base kit kingpin can do always appreciate checking that stuff out and consider liking the video and subscribing i'm gonna be doing a lot of kingpin videos like this showcasing some of the cool stuff he does like this and some of the other uh aspects as well so stay tuned for that jumping over here to uh act 6.2 the uh whatchamacallit the freezer burn path here i've uh, skipped through the first fight the punisher uh just jump into sentinel because he actually has freezer burn on him uh, this being you know earlier in act six is going to be a little bit faster and a little bit easier than the, the six four later on just because of the smaller health pools but again the idea here is still the same uh, get uh, sentinel backed into the corner right there bait out the special which in turn power locks uh the opponent and just belly flop <laughs> belly flop belly flop belly flop into the corner the more rages Kingpin gets, the more attack he does, and then especially once he goes into overpower with the Fury, uh, those belly flops start getting pretty pretty tanky for, again, a, a very, very low level Kingpin. So uh, I'm very, very happy with how this is all playing out here so far. Um, Kingpin has gone from an absolute meme to being a bona fide uh, strategic option in, in a lot of annoying fights here. Uh, he's just been making absolute uh, cake of, of the biohazard path here, the freezer burn path, in addition to just some of the extra annoying nodes and then champion uh, abilities of the opponents he's going up against. You know, we're, we're barely even uh, a minute into the fight here with, with Sentinel playing very cautiously, again, very cautiously. But uh, yeah, Kingpin's taken uh, virtually no damage and Sentinel is, is down already. It, it's fantastic. Repeating that strategy here with the next fight, Night Thrasher. Uh, this this path, I believe, had a um, got a light. I think it's what it's called. So if you manage to incinerate the opponent, uh, they take added damage. Uh, don't need to do that with with this fight here. But I mean, as you as you can see, I, I get the cold snap on me. I get the incinerate on me. It's it's no big deal. Everything just immediately gets restored. I get the rage debuff again i'm already in overpower throw the special one get the uh degen off on poor night thrasher here back in the, in the corner just chain all that together it's 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 just really silly it's just delightfully silly so this dude's almost down already throw another special one keep watching him melt uh, I'm going to be taking my kingpin up just as an aside. I'm going to be taking my kingpin up, my six star up to rank two in game. I'm also going to take, uh, consider taking my five star up to at least rank four. Um, I think he's going to wind up being again very, very useful in a lot of different aspects of the game. It's nice to have uh, a kingpin that's actually worth playing again too, and it'll be fun to test out his synergies later on uh, with some of the other other champs with Electra, with the Daredevils, uh, Hood as well hood of course also also feeds into you know the ghost trinity as well so you could run the ghost trinity with kingpin and sinister as a, a full team and that'd be a, a very very viable option 
last fight here that I'm going to showcase is against Agent Venom. Agent Venom would be important because as a skill champ, he can shrug off some of the debuffs that I throw on him with his tenacity. So I got to be careful when I go to, to parry because um, he can shrug that off. He can shrug the degen off, which could be uh, very, um, very annoying. But he has a, a, a chance at tenacity. So some of these are going to wind up sticking. Last point here is that Kingpin also can tank uh, damage because he gets unstoppable on his heavy. So if you don't mind, you know, losing your combo, you can just heavy away into the corner and, and just go ham. But this has been a quick showcase of six star uh, rank one Kingpin. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you liked the video, please do consider liking, subscribing. All that stuff helps me out, and we'll catch you in the next one. Until next time, take care. Talk soon. Stay safe. Be well, everybody. Bye for now.